Hey man, you looking to build some muscle, man? You do? It's good, man. It's real good, man. Hey, this dude wants to build some muscle. That's good, man. That's good, ain't it? Yeah, man. It's good for business when people want to build some muscle. Yeah. What's up, everybody? Then they come to our videos. Yeah. Hey, uh, we'll talk about wrist pain. Well, pain in general. And just pain in general in your joints. Shoulder pain, joint pain, fucking yeah. elbow pain, uh, wrist pain, mushroom tip pain. <laughs> yeah, um, usually I find that whenever I have joint issues, like with my wrist and stuff, it's usually when I lift heavy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we got this email from a guy. He said he's been doing a 5x5 five five program. He said he developed wrist pain. Yeah. Now, see, that 5x5 five five program, you lifting heavy all the time. And it catches up to a lot of people, especially if you're long and wiry or you're yeah. thin. That uh, lifting heavy like that will snap your shit up. Like out of 10 workouts, let's say you take 10 upper body workouts with me. <clears throat> I would say only maybe 3 or 4 of those 10 workouts are going to be lifting heavy. The other 6 or 7, I'm just lifting a moderate weight. Like a moderate weight for me on the bench press is, let's say, 245. 225 to 245. Yeah. Lifting heavy for me on the bench press is up around the 275 and up range. Okay. Yeah. So I don't lift heavy all the time. Yeah, lifting heavy every day. That's gonna it's catch up. gonna catch up to you. You gonna get you gonna you gonna you gonna develop a lot of joint pain. Yeah, now there's people out there that's gonna tell you you gotta lift extremely heavy to get big, and they're full of fucking shit. I've seen plenty of guys that don't lift no more than 200 pounds on the bench press, repping that shit out 50 times. Dudes are huge. They don't even raise the weight above that. You don't have to lift heavy. I'm telling you, you don't. Plus, to get big and build more muscle, you do more higher reps. Lower reps build more strength. Yeah, and if you don't believe us, look at look at a lot of the uh, power lifters. Look at a lot of the uh, look at a lot of people that that's a big fan of that five by five, lifting a whole lot more weight than I can ever imagine of lifting. Yeah, and I'm a whole lot bigger now. Yeah, they can lift more weight. Cause they lift in a lower rep range. You have to determine like, what do you want to. You want to be. You want to be able to outlift everybody in the gym, or do you want to be bigger than everybody in the gym? If you want to be bigger, you got to do more reps. If you want to be stronger, you got to do less reps. You, yeah. So, but we're kind of getting away from the fucking risk issue. What I've noticed that helped me on my wrist when I snap my fucking shit up in my wrist. Ice and rest. Ice and rest. I stopped lifting heavy. I start lifting with a uh, a moderate weight. Instead of heavyweight, then I iced it, and that helped me. But if your shit persists, I'm not a doctor. You need to go see Doc Schwartz up the street. Let Doc Schwartz check you out. Because I ain't no doctor and shit. You know what I'm saying? Ice it, rest. If you can't rest, you just have to go in the fucking gym, lift lighter. Yeah. Now, wrist pain for me doesn't really bother me on curls. Whenever you're doing like a press. shoulder press, Bench press, that's when it bothers me. That's when wrist pain affects me. So, <clears throat> just lower your lifts. And like and I'm ice. fucking glowing in this damn white shirt. Yeah, man. The sun, man. Yeah. But hey, that's what you can do for your wrist, fellas. I sit and rest and just drop the weight back. You know what I'm saying? Drop the weight back. And over a couple weeks, it should go away like it did for me. You know what I'm saying? But it's just a vice, fellas. Still fucking glowing. Now you got my fucking nose glowing. Fuck it, man. It's just advice, fellas. You can do whatever the fuck you want to do.